1,000 soldiers, 200 units of Polish and foreign-made military equipment, and 92 aircraft. This was Warsaw's largest military parade in almost three decades. The parade included M1A1 Abrams tanks bought from the U.S., K-2 tanks and K-9 self-propelled howitzers bought from South Korea, Alsa HIMARS rocket launchers and Patriot air defense systems. Polish military analyst Jaroslav Wolski says the parade is a display of the country's military power. We cannot afford to show weakness because, unfortunately, the only language Russians and Belarusians understand is the language of strength. We demonstrate new equipment and that our army is changing. According to Wolski, changes in the Polish army began long before the war in Ukraine started. But Russia's aggression in Ukraine accelerated Poland's modernization of its arsenal. Two factors played a role here, an increase in funding and the need to urgently fill the shortage of equipment since we transferred about 30% of the land forces equipment to Ukraine. Since 2010, the Polish army has been a fully professional force after mandatory military conscription was abolished. Most soldiers come through military schools. To increase the army size, Poland recently instituted a system that gives volunteers a chance to become reserves, explains Colonel Justyna Balik, a spokeswoman for Poland's Central Military Recruitment Office. The candidates have 27 days of basic training, military discipline, tactics, shooting. After that, the soldiers take an oath and decide. If they want to continue serving in the army, they choose a specialty and go to study further. According to Colonel Balik, 70% of volunteers decide to continue their career in the army. Plan na ten rok. This year, our plan to recruit soldiers into the army is 25,000, but we know that we will exceed it. We already have more than 21,000 voluntary military personnel. By 2035, Poland plans to almost double the size of its army, from 175,000 to 300,000. Waldemar Skrzypczak, a retired general and former commander of the Polish Land Forces, explains why the build-up is necessary. We should be a powerful part of NATO's forces on the eastern flank. We feel safe because of NATO membership and believe the alliance will protect us, but of course with our participation. Therefore, Poland wants this army to be ready for defense. But military analysts say there is currently no direct threat from Russia or Belarus to Poland thanks to the presence of NATO troops on Polish soil. Observers also say Wagner Group, mercenaries on the Polish-Belarus border are too few to be a significant danger, and the Polish army has learned to deal with provocations from both Russia and Belarus. Lesia Bakalets for VOA News, Warsaw.